Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I can't believe we're already on part four. I want to thank everybody for participating. And if you like my videos, give them a thumbs up. And I love to read your comments. So anything you put below, I'll definitely answer back to you if I see the comments. So the next part of our journal or our needle keep is going to be to work on the signatures for the inside. So if you're watching this video, you've gotten this far so far for your book. So we're going to put this for now aside and we're going to take out you have two pieces that are relatively long and everybody got different ones so they look similar but they'll be different types of laces so you want to take your two longer pieces out not the one that is like this this one is a little different this one isn't big enough to put around it, but you'll have two, you'll find it. I believe it's closer to your felt pieces. You're also gonna have two pieces of felt. If you look very carefully, one will be just a smidgen smaller. Just, I mean, real little. And the reason being is it's gonna be your middle piece. So when you close your needle book, it'll be even on the ends. And it really doesn't matter if it's not even because once you have your book together, you'll see it, it's really not going to matter because of all the laces we add. But I did that just to kind of show you guys. So your next step is, is make sure you remember which is which. And then what you're going to do, put one aside. This is my larger one. You're going to take your lace and you're going to figure out some of them aren't as long so you can't go like I'll show you let me do the other one first Oop. so this one isn't quite as long so you're not going to need to really mess around with it as much as some of the real longer ones you kind of gauge and figure exactly where you want to put your piece <coughs> excuse me do you want to put do you want a little bit overlapping on the top or do you want none overlapping on the top and all of it to hang on the bottom so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just for this one I'm just going to kind of center it so we have just a little bit overlapping so basically, what I do is I try to center, somewhat center. I gave you guys, I think, a little extra, so you won't be able to 100% do it. But I make sure that the cut piece is in the center. So I'll show you. Just because you're not going to see that piece when you sew in your signatures. So that's the extra. What you want to do is trim the extra. And I don't trim it so it's totally, whoops. I would give it a little overlap like this. So that's basically our center. <clears throat> and this is where, again, those alligator clips, where did I put them? Do, 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 do. They come in handy to clip because this does want to pull. So what I do is I pull as far as I can like this and I just clip the sides. Just a few clips. I love these things. I think I've told you guys that before. And I'll do the same thing. With the other side, I'll make sure it's pulled nice and tight. And clip there as well. So basically, I sew down the middle is what I do. 
right here. If you do not have a sewing machine, by all means, you just can hand stitch going right down. You probably could glue too. So whichever you choose, there's really no wrong way. If you glue, I would just take some glue and try to hide it a little bit behind um, some of the flowers and glue down the seam because you really want to be able to hit, make sure this kind of stays on. So make sure, like I said, this is nice and tight as well. So I'm going to go and stitch that going down and I'll be right back and we'll do the next page. So this is what it looks like completed. I did not sew down on the lace. It's not necessary. If you do, that's fine too. And you wanna make sure you trim off your threads. It's hard for me to see when I'm, I have these great thread trimmers. I'm gonna list those below for you guys too. I love them. I keep them right at my sewing machine. I also use them if I need to poke something through. I use that to poke it through my sewing machine. Those of you that sew know exactly what I'm talking about. Those of you that don't, sometimes under the foot, you need, if you have a piece of fabric, you need to give it kind of a boost to go through. So that's what I use. So again, I do not measure where I did this, I eyeballed it for the center. And then you'll have a little left over here. If you want, you can trim it, but you're really not gonna see it. So then you have one of your pages complete and almost ready to go into your journal, into your needle keep. See, it's not perfect, but it is down the center. So let's go ahead and do the next one this one if you guys have the bigger fat the bigger lace is a little tricky because you're going to want to cut it down and figure out exactly where you want to cut it uh, these do have a good side and a bad side not a good side right side wrong side some of them you may want to also um, press as well so let's lay this out with the scissors and find our middle on where exactly we want this to lay. And after I show you ladies, I think I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna eye in that as well. So basically you're gonna do the same. You just wanna figure out exactly where you want this to lay and how you want this to look. Do you want it a little longer and have that visible like that? And you kind of maybe want to measure up with your other lace and see how far down that goes. Maybe you want it to go, whoops, maybe you want it to go a little longer. Maybe you want it to go a little shorter. There's no real rules with this. So I think what I'm going to do, I kind of like having that look where it just hangs just a tad bit more. So I'm going to make it so it hangs, let's see, a little bit higher. But I'm going to go eye in this because I don't like the way this is curling up. So I'll be right back. Okay, I have that nice and ironed. So now I'm going to go back and try again to figure out exactly where I'm going to do this. When, <clears throat> when you ladies iron, please be careful because this is delicate lace. Do it on low setting. So I'm gonna try to eyeball this so that little piece can hang just a hair. Kinda like that, what do you guys think? Having that lace just hang a little longer. Oh, I think I got it. So the placement is about here and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna, oh, you know what? I have it inside out. Oh, of course. You'll be able to tell. Just look real close if it's inside out. So now I gotta start over. Story of my life, ladies. Story of my life. But that's the fun of this too. Almost. Bring that up. 
just a smidgen. I might even use these flowers as my guide across the top here. Can you see that? Just so I know it's even. Let's see. All right. Let's check it out again. I think I'd like it to go just a hair higher. So let's see how that would look. So Gary, my husband, is outside making maple syrup. It is an all day, when I tell you an all day affair, I mean an all day, an all night affair, because you have to cook it. And 40 gallons of sap makes only one gallon of maple syrup and he probably gets about maybe 40 or 50 gallons a day. So it's a labor of love, that's for sure. All right, I think I'm gonna go with this and um, be done with it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to eyeball so it's even. Here we go, I'm gonna do it one last time. I am such a perfectionist. I like that. What do you think? I think that just gives it just a nice little look. So next we're going to do the same thing we did. <clears throat> going to fold it over, find that middle, and of course, uh, let's see, it's really not in the middle. So I'm going to have to slide it over <clears throat> just a little bit. There we go. Let's see how that goes. Let's see if we're in the middle now. Yep. I oh, mm. Yeah. I think that's the middle. It just, it's hard to tell because I, I cut it uneven. You guys will see. I am not the best at cutting. So you want to take your pins. Let's do this first. Pin the sides. So you have that nice and tight. And then you want to do your other side. Kind of line that up and have that end nice and tight as well. And pin this. So I had um, a bad reaction to an antibiotic for my tooth, as I'm telling you ladies about my tooth. It was actually horrible. I ended up thinking I was having a heart attack when, thank God, Gary was um, an EMT because he knew better that it was like, I mean, debilitating heartburn. So I came off that antibiotic and unfortunately on Monday, Friday's my birthday, Sunday is our wedding anniversary, and Monday... They can't save the tooth. I have to have it extracted. So I am petrified. I don't laugh, ladies. I'd rather give birth than have anything done with my mouth. I just don't like it. Just hate it. So that's what is going on here. So I'm hopefully I'll have this done beforehand. So and I know the infection is still there because, oh, I'm still not feeling 100%. So now we're going to cut. And remember, <laughs> you really can only um, really get one shot at cutting unless you have more of this at home. So kind of do it carefully. And you want to leave just a hair on the outside and cut. We're going to cut the length first. And then we'll go back and cut the width. It's so hard to do this when I'm on camera. But I'm going to try my best. Okay, let's get this cut. Alrighty. Let's see. And then if you feel it's not even, you can play around if it's not totally in half. When you have a bigger piece of lace, it's really hard to um, play around with it. It's easier, I think. Why is this curling back up again? I'm going to have to iron this again. 
Oh no, there we go. So there. So I kind of think that that might be okay when I stitch down the center. I think we're good. So now you want to go up here and you want to trim your top. So you're going to see a little bit of your top piece. And that's, you know, it's going to look unfinished on the top, but we've got more lace. And you know what? When you have all of your stuff in your in your book, you're not even going to see the top. And it's not even going to matter. Mine are all like that. So there. We're going to go and do that. And <clears throat> I'm going to go stitch it down. And I might even trim this a little bit after. We'll see. And I can even do it after we do the insides of the journal as well. So I'll be right back. Hold on. So ladies, this was giving me a little hassle and it wanted to pucker up. It doesn't matter if it puckers, but I just don't like mine to pucker. So I just added another um, clip. See how that was puckering? I like mine kind of flat. So I added another clip away from where I'm sewing obviously <laughs> uh, you probably could put it where you were sewing and then just pulled it once you had it underneath so that's how i did that I'll be right back okay <clears throat> i've got that stitched let me take off my clips and your two pages are complete it's actually more than two pages <clears throat> and i'll explain to you how how it's more than two pages. Let's see. I gotta do these edges. Yeah. So it's not totally like even on the bottom, but I'll show you. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies are wicked. So we're going to add, let's see, it's going to go like this, and then, of course, which one, I got to figure out which one I said was smaller. There, you'll be able to tell, see how that's off a little bit, smaller one goes inside, and then we close. And again, guys, you're going to have a little bit coming out when you do it on the edges. But again, we're going to be using a lot of lace. So just so you can see. And this will tell you whether or not you want to trim more here. And like I said, you can do that after you stitch in your, your book. So then we're going to make that so it's nice and even, figure out where the middle is. And you have your laces hanging on the bottom, like so. Whoops, but help if I get it in the frame. Your laces are hanging on the bottom, like this. So our next step is going to be to sew these in. <clears throat> now, I prefer the sewing machine. However, I can walk you ladies through how to do the hand stitching of it. Those of you that hand stitch, you'll probably already know how to do it. So you're gonna take your thread out that I gave you, <clears throat> your DMC thread and your needle and basically, you are going to stitch right down. You're going to put both pieces down like so. And you are going to stitch right down. So you have it. You'll see on the other side, your binding. So I would stitch it not like necessarily like a junk journal because these pages are kind of um, heavier. I would kind of just sew down, just like you would sew, hand sew anything. So just sew right down the middle, and I'm going to go and stitch down with my sewing machine. Then we'll have the whole 
basic them and we'll be ready to move on to fill in the whole thing, the fun part, I think. The whole thing's fun, but I really like doing the outside shell of it. So when you do sew it in, you want to leave a little gap on the top, just a little bit. When you stitch these in, so you have a, just, a, just a little bit of a gap on that when you stitch, okay? Just like you would a junk journal, if you ladies do junk journals, you just leave a gap on top. You can make it so it's even on the top and on the bottom as well, if you'd like, to the best you can. Again, it's not gonna matter once you have it, have it in, you're not even gonna notice. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and stitch down here in my machine and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and again, See, I'm not an even sewer at all. I happen to have a heavy-duty sewing machine, so mine zipped right through it like it was butter. Yours may not. I'm not sure. But see, this is where we can come in here and trim this if we want to a little bit. Just be careful you don't hit those stitches where you stitched. You'll probably get more accurate if you um, hand stitch, I'm lazy, so I didn't hand stitch. But see, you're not gonna see a difference at all if it's uneven. And then we're gonna go and trim this in here. Let's start at the top. And just trim a little bit down the center. Now my last video was much longer. I kind of wanted to just get that basic part done with you guys before we moved on to the rest. And I didn't want to add this part because I knew this part was going to take a little bit more time to do. So I'm just trimming down from when I sewed from my sewing machine, my little pieces here. And then I'll show you how it looks. Let me just move this camera in a little bit closer. And there's how it looks from the outside and the inside. So now, my favorite part, we're going to jump to the decorating. I just want all of you guys to understand that there's no rules to this. You veer off if you want and decorate a different way. I am just going to show you how I play around and decorate. And there again, every book is going to be unique and individual. So I would not get worried about anything being different. See, mine, I, I did sew mine off a little bit, but it's not going to matter. It's not, you can't even tell. And we'll just use the pages. If you sewed them off a little bit, we'll use the smaller pages for your needles. So I didn't like how it came out the first time because it really wasn't even. I mean, it doesn't matter, but mine was so not even. So I took the stitching out and redid it. And I kind of played around with it, even though these are going to be a little off because... What I did was um, I should have reversed it and done the brown on the other side. But I really liked how this white looked coming through with this brown. That makes sense, I'm hoping. So I have that all stitched. And now our pages are all ready. And if you want to go in and trim your excess lace, now's the time. To trim it, I already trimmed my. So you just kind of want to trim just a little bit. See, you're really not even going to see it once you have all your um, your goodies in here as well. So this has been a fun, fun journey so far with you guys. So our next 
part is going to be to decorate the outside. You're also, don't worry, you're going to see your stitching over here. Not a big deal because we have so much lace that we can cover it up. I also wanted to suggest, too, if you have any lace in your stash as well, by all means, go for it. Use it. But see, with the lace that I gave you, ladies, we'll find something that we can cover the side with. So I'm not too worried about that. And um, you guys have a uh, fantastic day. And if you like, please hit like and subscribe. It really helps me. And I love reading the comments. So if you have the time, let me know what you think of the video. And I want to hear how your journal is coming along. So please let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now.